The Great Gatsby, 2013. Stop being pretentious and enjoy a decent film. After seeing this film, I was more than a little disgusted to see so many negative reviews. The main problem with this film, I find, is in the first twenty thirty minutes. A common problem I spy in Lerman films that should by no means define an entire film. Giving away nothing, the film begins at a brisk and overly flamboyant pace, but after a bit, it hits what I like to call Bass Golden Point, slows to absolute perfection. That first half hour will leave more than a few shaking their heads, but power through it, and you will find the great Gatsby in all its glory. Lerman stays as true to the source as he can, and DiCaprio gives yet another glorious performance. If I'm going to be honest, I think a lot of the negative reviews coming in are due to the classic then, status of the book. Of People dream. want to act like the hours of school discussions should make this film less fanciful and serious. A hundred percent of the time. Thing is, we have that version twice over in the 1974 yeah, and 2000 was. adaption. Gatsby 2013 is beautiful, over the top, heart-wrenching, and thoroughly enjoyable flick that I shall always highly recommend. In the summer of Love it. For the record, I dread Gatsby at least every other year since I was 17. The malls so, were looser me, and the band when I say I have been counting down the Wall days Street and minutes until young, the new and movie opened. I rented a house 20 miles from Here the city goes, then. I saw started, Gatsby I last night and on absolutely loved and it. In retrospect, Yale, as it had way through the movie, it just clicked. Leonardo was have. perfect. He wasn't Redford, but in my humble castle. opinion, better. He nailed it. Betraying so, Gatsby as this man. truly multi-dimensional character. I drove over At first, east egg. we're introduced to Gatsby, the well-rehearsed old Tom sport Buchanan. telling his canned story so about him. studying at Oxford, Other Montenegro, medals, etc., etc. But then slowly, that forced veneer peels away, and he gives us this angst. Desperate, so happy in love. We can remake the past, torture soul, much, much better than Red Ford. And the same goes with Daisy. Mia Farrow's Daisy was all flighty and light as a feather, pretty pathetic and self absorbed. You wonder, what's the big deal with these women who everyone loves? But with Carrie Mulligan, you get it. The scenes of the two of them as young lovers explain it all. Finally, Toby McGure. I love him as Peter Parker, Homer Wells, and now Nick Carraway. I thought the idea of having him author Gatsby from a hospital was very clever allowed him to read along passages directly from the book. As for JZ at all, I really didn't mind it. As far as I was concerned, it didn't distract and certainly worked to illuminate the frenetic energy of the 20s. Please, give it another try, see it again, and in my experience, a Bass Lerman movie is always better the second time around. Mullen Roth. Just for a drink or two. So metallic urgency. Oh, yes. I've been everywhere and seen everything and done it. Uh, your daughter, I suppose she talked. Born. Tom was. God knows where. And I asked the nurse if it was a boy or a girl. A man. And I hope she'll be a fool. All the bright I would love pin.
Right about it. Yes. Wasn't any good. What would I write about? Anything. Write it down. I mean, the valley between West Egg and the city, where the burnt out move <gasps> through the powdery air, this fantastic fog, like the eyes of God, did turn. Come on. Come on. How's business? Yeah, I can't. That only works pretty I mean, slow, don't he? Well, maybe I better. Why don't you? So somebody can sit Let's down. Behave. Why don't you, uh, why don't you entertain? Hurry up. Yeah, yeah, all right. A pleasure. Uh, Nick's the writer. Oh. Uh, can we get the talk for the apartment? Whatever you want. Thank you. Catherine said to be very good looking by people who ought to know. Uh, really, I can't. Let's misbehave. I'm Catherine, and we having a party. This must be the cousin. Oh, you are adorable. Oh, thank you. Oh. Oh. I'm, I'm just leaving now. Hey. Wait. I'm just, I'm just going. Oh. I remember that from college. No, that's not what. No, no, no. I don't make any judgment. What you... Come on. Come on. <laughs> the key is in the artistic game. Photography. Yeah. Nick's artistic. I was there at a party about a month ago. A man named Gats, evil really? German king. Oh. Hey, McKay! Hey, what do you want? Make a picture of that! Neither of them can stand the person that made nerve pills. I get them from a doctor in Queens. <gasps> Afternoon. Oh, what's going on? She's a people. Oh, oh. Sort of chemical madness, York. Better than the Yale Club. The city. Our yellow windows must have been. And I was the him Great too. Gatsby, 2013. Enchanted and stop no. being pretentious and enjoy a decent film. Keep up, keep up, keep up. After seeing this film, I was more than a little disgusted to see so many negative reviews. The main problem with this film, I find, is in the first 20 30 minutes. A common yes. problem I spy in Lerman films. That should by no means define an entire film. Giving away nothing, the film begins at a brisk and overly flamboyant pace. But after a bit, and I mean everyone from Gatsby's door, golden point slows to absolute perfection. That first half hour will leave more than a few shaking their hearts. But power through it, and you will find the great Gatsby in all its glory. Oh, Gatsby's beach. My boss, Walter Chase, these stars. as true to the source as he can, and the Capriol gives yet another glorious moment. If I'm going to be honest, I think a lot of the negative reviews coming in are due to the classic status of the book. People want to act like the hours of the school is ridiculous. To make this theory. film less fanciful and serious, a hundred percent of the time. Thing well, is, we German have that spy? version twice no, 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 over no, no. in the, the 1974 and 2000 well, adaptions. Well, Gatsby 2013 is beautiful, over the top, heart I ain't got time for you, baby. That I shall always highly recommend. Love it. This house. For the record, I've read Gatsby at least every other year since I was 17. I cannot so believe me when I said I have been counting down the days and minutes until the new movie opened. 
Multi-dimensional character. An At first, I haven't been a very good host we're introduced to Gatsby, you see, the well-known <laughs> story about studying at Oxford. Like Montenegro, medals, yes. etc. Et but then slowly, <laughs> that forced veneer peels away, ask for it, ask for and he gives us this aimless, desperate, so happy <laughs> love. I we can remake the past, torture us all, he told me once he much, was much better than Red Ford. And Baker, the same Mr. goes with Daisy, like Mia Farrow's Daisy, who was all flighty and light, and clever, really pathetic, and self-absorbed. You wonder, what's the big deal with this woman who everyone loves? But with Carrie Mulligan. You get it. The scenes of the two of them as young lovers explain it all. Finally, Toby McGure. I love him as Peter Parker, Homer Wells, and now Nick Carraway. I thought the idea of having him author Gatsby from a hospital was very clever. read along passages directly from the book. Oh, Nick, I'm sorry. As for Jay-Z at all, I really didn't mind it. As far as I was concerned, it didn't distract and certainly worked to eliminate the frenetic energy of the 20s. Please, give it another try. See it again. From my experience, a Baz Luhrmann movie is always better the second time around. even made use of his speech. Until... Freddy, isn't it old sport? Haven't you ever seen it before? No. Oh, I'm done in the first oh, one, did he? I don't want you to get the wrong impression from all these... From all these cells. So, I'm the son of some very wealthy people um, from the um, Middle West. Um, Sadly, um, all of them are dead. You see, it's a family tradition. The way he spoke, no wonder people. Oh, Europe! Yes, Europe! Paris! Game painting a little bit to their cell phone. Handedly defeating the German army. In the Argonne Forest, I took two miles of piles of dead. 130 men, 16 Major I applaud her, Valor Extraordinary. Girl of Doncaster. What could I say? At lunch today, I'm going to introduce you to one of New York's most distinguished business. Oh, but it is, though. See, I thought you ought to know something about my life. Big request of you today. A uh, big request? Yes. Yeah. Well, I assure you it's nothing underhand. Miss Baker's an honest sportsman. What is so other than Oxford Pals? Well, I was, I was able to be the commissioner of Fable. By the time we... Queensboro <laughs> Bridge is always the city scene for the first time. Anything can happen now that we've seen Good. Look at her. Look at you. Mr. Carraway, this is my good friend, Mr. Mike. Really? Shall we? <laughs> Tell him all the chase. He keeps it. Don't want it. Look who's here. See, careful now. You're turning into a real jazz house. Man, this is all about money. What the hell are we calling them? Every Joe, you remember me. We'll have the lobster. It's decorated with chocolate. Now, Bill, real. So, oh, no, 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 no. This isn't the man, man. Excuse me, I have to make that call. Sadly, all dead now. When I first made the pleasure of you, such medals and married women, a man like this can be trusted with a friend when you work on Wall Street, right? Yes. 
Everything oh, all right? Nice. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to leave you gentlemen to talk about your sports and your women. My? Mm, no, no. He's a gambler. Who's that? Fucking oh, with all the opportunity. Fucking empty. He's off. Oh, you. How have you been? Yeah. Good. Easy. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. He wants you to invite Daisy to tea. I don't quite What's know where to start. You see, I didn't really know where to start. I got my new English golf shoes. One of them was in the car with her. At five o'clock, Daisy Fay married Tom Buchanan. After the honeymoon, I found out that he had all the papers. He bought that house to be near her. All that for a girl he hasn't seen in five years. Evening, sweetheart. Where are your kids going? Long Island, please. So he can have the passport. I remember feeling. Ah, does it? Yes. Blood. I've just been. You know, we can take a plunge in the swimming pool. I haven't made use of it all I summer. I must go to bed. Happy to do it. I don't want to put you in any trouble. Oh, day after tomorrow, all right? Day after tomorrow. Uh. Ah. 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 The paper says they thought the rain would stop about four. Right in the living room. Thank you. <coughs> grass? What grass? Beautiful. Oh, I'm leaving. Ah, don't be silly. It's just two minutes to four. No it's her. Oh, it's the secret of Carolyn. <laughs> the Great Gatsby, two thousand and thirteen. Stop being pretentious and enjoyed a decent film. After seeing this film, I was more than a little disgusted to see so many negative reviews. The main problem with this film, I find, is in the first 20-30 minutes. The most common problem I spy in Lerman films that should by no means define an entire film. Giving away nothing, the film begins at a brisk and overly flamboyant pace, but after a bit, it hits what I like to call the last golden point. That first half hour will leave more than a few shaking in your head. But power through it, and you will find the great Gatsby in all its glory. Lerman stays as true to the source as he can, and DiCaprio gives yet another glorious performance. 
If I'm going to be honest, I think a lot of the negative reviews coming in are due to the classic status of the book. People want to act like the hours of school discussions should make this film less fanciful and serious. A hundred percent of the time. Thing is, we have that version twice over in the 1974 and 2013. Over the top, hot and thoroughly enjoyable flick that I shall always highly recommend. Loved it. For the record, I've read Gatsby at least every other year since I was 17. So, believe me, when I say I've been counting down the days and minutes until the new movie opened. Here it goes then. I saw Gatsby last night and absolutely loved it. In retrospect, as in halfway through the movie, it just clicked. It. Leonardo was perfect. He was in Redford, but in my humble opinion, better. He nailed it. The train Gatsby has this truly multi-dimensional At first, we're introduced to Gatsby, the well-rehearsed old sport telling his canned story about studying at Oxford, Montenegro, medals, etc, etc. But then slowly, that forced veneer peels away, and he gives us this angst Desperate, so happy in love. We can remake the past, torture soul, much, much better than Red Ford. And the same goes with Daisy. Mia Farrow's Daisy was all flighty and light as a feather, pretty pathetic and self absorbed. You wonder, what's the big deal with these women who everyone loves? But with Carrie Mulligan, you get it. The scenes of the two of them as young lovers explain it all. Finally, Toby McGure. I love him as Peter Parker, Homer Wells, and now Nick Carraway. I thought the idea of having him author Gatsby from a hospital was very clever. Allowed him to read along passages directly from the book. As for JZ at all, I really didn't mind it. As far as I was concerned, it didn't distract and certainly managed to eliminate the frenetic energy of the 20s. Please, give it another try. See it again. In my experience, a Baz Luhrmann movie is always better the second time around. Mullen Rock. life and Daisy's pardon. And he told me the life he had dreamed for himself. James Gass. His parents, in his own imagination, he was a son of God. Gats ran far, far away. One afternoon, the millionaire Dan Cody. This was his opportunity, and he seized it. Gatsby showed skill and ambition. And for five years, gentlemen, Jay Gatsby. She looks well, did she? Gatsby hoped he'd been left with the ability to play the gentleman, but he was front. Page news. Hi. Where did the money come from? When he accompanied Daisy to one of Gatsby's. Glitches. Not Gatsby. He's a businessman. He owned a lot of drugs. Oh, and Mr. Buchanan. Senator, I'll catch up with you later. We have the craps I'd rather not be the polo player. Must know the faces of you know that lady right there. It's my I adore her pictures. We've met before. Answer the people. That's right. Hey, 
Howie. Made entirely from your own imagination. Every decision. Of course, if anything is not from your perfect, irresistible imagination. You see my wife. <coughs> it's funny, the senator saw it down here. What did he do? Do we be respectable? We're gonna lose. Yeah. I didn't mind. Hello, Nikki. We're having a row. The future of the colored empires. Quite emotional. Excuse me. Showing us the grounds. He certainly must have strained himself to get. And I think I'll make a point of finding out. She didn't like it. Oh, of course she did. No, no, it's so hard to make her I understand. What do you mean about the party? The party? You see... House. Her parents are lovely people, old school. Years ago, I wouldn't ask too much of her. Wouldn't ask too much? No. It's so sad because it's so hard to make her understand. She just wants to run away. And you get it. <laughs> she even wants to leave that. No. Why, of course you can. Thanks, Benzo. So confused. <laughs> get back to the star. Himself that he had put into loving Daisy. Colossal accident. I went to her Adi. house first. The truth that he was a penniless young man. Such illustrious families. I but they knew that I, <gasps> I knew that when I kissed this girl, so I stopped. And for a moment longer. From the tar his that falling in love. And I just let myself go. She blossomed I mean, for him like a flower. So it'd be a great band if I could forget that I once lost Daisy. But it's got to keep going up. Um, and tell him that I'm going to more time. We're here. You're wrong about the past, old sport. Gardens, men and girls came and went like moths among the whisperings and the laughter. Thank you. Tom and Daisy oh. visit. Oh. Aspie's love visited discreetly. Had become a threat. You see, these towns are very close together. The difference as long as they can cook and make beds, right? <gasps> One thing she's requested that even Miss Baker be there for lunch. You come on. Oh, Wait a minute. 
매력 오빠 지금 어디 Let's go to town. Who wants to go to town? You always look beautiful shirts. Let's go to town. Bath with lunch. Come on, let's have fun. It's too hot to fuss. <laughs> the Great Gatsby, 2013. Come on, Jordan. Stop being pretentious and enjoyed a decent film. After seeing this film, I was more than a little disgusted to see so many negative reviews. You take Nick and Jordan. The main problem with this film, I find, is the first time in 30 years. A common problem I spy in Lerman films that should by no means Give it a little bit of begins at a brisk and overly flamboyant But after a bit, it hits what I like to call Bass Golden Point. Slows to absolute perfection. That first half hour will leave more than a few shaking their heads. But power through it, and you will find the great gasping in all its glory. Learn the performance. If I'm going to be honest, I think a lot of the negative reviews fine, fine, coming fine. in are due to the classic status of the book. People want to act school. like the hours what? of school discussions should make this film less fanciful and serious. A hundred percent of the time, thing is we have that version twice over in the 1974 and 2000 adaption. Gatsby 2013 is beautiful, the over the top, heart wrenching, and thoroughly enjoyable flick that no I shall Please. always Please. highly Please. recommend. Please have a little self -control. Loved it. Self control. For the record, I've read Gatsby at least every other year since I was 17. So, believe me, when I say I have been counting down the days and minutes until the new movie opened. Sit down, Daisy. Here it goes then. I saw Gatsby last night. In retrospect, as in halfway through the movie, it just clicked it. Leonardo was hurt. But in my humble opinion, better. He nailed it. Betraying Gatsby as this truly multi-dimensional character. At first, we're introduced to Gatsby. The well-rehearsed old sport telling his canned story about studying at Oxford, Montenegro, medals, etc., etc. But then slowly, that false veneer peels away, and he gives us this angst, desperate, so happy in love. We can remake the past, torture sold. She's much, you. much ah, better yes, than I that for it. No, 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 no. And yeah, the same goes with Daisy. Mia Farrow's Daisy. Who was all flighty and light as a feather, pretty pathetic and self-absorbed. You wonder, what's the big deal with this woman who everyone loves? But with Carrie Mulligan, you get it. The scenes of the two of them as young lovers explain it all. Finally, Toby McGure. I love him as Peter Parker, Homer Wells, and now Nick Carraway. I thought the idea of having him author Gatsby from a hospital was very clever. Allowed him to read along the passages directly from the book. As for JZ at all, I really didn't mind it. As far as I was concerned, it didn't distract and certainly worked to illuminate the frenetic energy of the 20s. Please, give it another try. 
see it again. Oh, I'm done with my first one. Really really it's A Bass Lerman booby is always better the second time around. Molin Rock. Jordan? Um, 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 um. Just remembered. Thirty. Easy drove on through the cooling twilight. Hey, where'd you get these from? The knot is slipping. I'm fine. Not really. No. She ran out in the road. Son of yeah. Yeah, big yellow doozy. Custom job. I know what I know what I was. Sit down. Sit down. What color is your car? It's blue. Okay. 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 I'm gonna defend him now. I telephoned for a taxi, Nick. Why don't you come inside and have some? Hello, old sport. What are you doing? I thought so. I... I told Daisy that I thought... Daisy, what? Please. There was no point in hey, stop. No, no stop. point! No point! No. It, it was my fault. It was my fault. This woman, she had time, but... Well, I... Driving would steady her. Fault, you see. You must know that Daisy was driving. Wait here all night if necessary. No, no, no. That's not a good he idea. Tries. He's not even thinking about I her. Don't trust him. I don't. I'll see if there's any commotion. Sport. Jay, the window. If she stood there, then. I should have told him what I had just seen, but. Tonight, they'll trace your car. Oh, wait. No. Can't leave now. Yeah. Oh, Daisy, she, she just needs. She just needs time to think. No, Jay. Sun's almost up. I wanted to tell you the whole story for a very long time. His transformative voyage with Dan Cody. So that night that I became aware of Gatsby's extraordinary other person. I never realized how extraordinary. A nice crowd, how we can marry and struggle along on so many dollars a month. Been able to return. I asked her to wait until I made. That was all.
just a guy. Call. A personal call. Of course. Excuse me, sir. Today, it's so beautiful. An old sport. I have to go, Jay. I'll walk you out. Please do, old sport. Please do. <laughs> I... I suppose. You're worth the whole damn bunch put together. I was always glad I said that. That morning, Wall Street boomed as we'd a call with news. and photographers and the affair with Myrtle, the hit and run, every... Darling, Daddy's taking care of his two favorite girls. Buchanan residence? May I speak to Mrs. Burrow? I'm sorry, monsieur. They have gone away. Gone away? Please. Yeah. I have no further information, monsieur. and people and then retreated back into their money and their vast out of here! I rang that enjoyed his hospitality attended the funeral I was all he had the only one After Gatsby's death, New York shimmering mirage. Now, I return to that huge, incoherent one night. It's like an amusement park. How do you think you're all alone? Will you come on board? We need you. Come to Gatsby's and guest at his corruption. And as I stood there brooding on the old, hardly failed to grasp it. Gatsby believed in the green light. The orgas will run faster, stretch out our arms farther, borne back ceaselessly. The Great Gatsby, 2013 Stop being pretentious and enjoyed a decent film. After seeing this film, I was more than a little disgusted to see so many negative reviews. The main problem with this film, I find, 
is in the first twenty thirty minutes. A common problem I spy in Lerman films that should by no means define an entire film. Giving away nothing, the film begins at a brisk and overly flamboyant pace, but after a bit, it hits what I like to call Bass Golden Point, slows to absolute perfection. That first half hour will leave more than a few shaking their heads, but power through it, and you will find the great Gatsby in all its glory. Lerman stays as true to the source as he can, and DiCaprio gives yet another glorious performance. If I'm going to be honest, I think a lot of the negative reviews coming in are due to the classic status of the book. People want to act like the hours of school discussions should make this film less fanciful and serious. A hundred percent of the time. Thing is, we have that version twice over in the 1974 and 2000 adaptation. Gatsby 2013 is beautiful, over the top, heart-wrenching, and thoroughly enjoyable flick that I shall always highly recommend. Loved it. For the record, I've read Gatsby at least every other year since I was seventeen. So believe me, when I say I have been counting down the days and minutes until the new movie opened. Here it goes then. I saw Gatsby last night, and absolutely loved it. In retrospect, as in halfway through the movie, it just clicked. It. Leonardo was perfect. He wasn't Redford, but in my humble opinion, better. He nailed it. Betraying Gatsby as this truly multi-dimensional character, at first, we are introduced to Gatsby, the well-rehearsed old sport telling his canned story about studying at Oxford, Montenegro medals, etc., etc. But then slowly, that forced veneer peels away, and he gives us this angst. Desperate, so happy in love. We can remake the past, torture sold, much much better than Red Ford, and the same goes with Daisy, Mia Farrow's Daisy. Was all flighty and light as a feather, pretty pathetic, and self-absorbed. You wonder, what's the big deal with this woman who everyone loves? But with Carrie Mulligan, you get it. The scenes of the two of them as young lovers explain it all. Finally, Toby McGure, I love him as Peter Parker, Homer Wells, and now Nick Carraway. I thought the idea of having him author Gatsby from a hospital was very clever, allowed him to read along passages directly from the book. As for J Z at all, I really didn't mind it. As far as I was concerned, it didn't distract and certainly worked to illuminate the frenetic energy of the twenties. Please give it another try, see it again. From my experience, a Baz Luhrmann movie is always better the second time around. Mullen Rock.
The Great Gatsby, 2013. Stop being pretentious and enjoy a decent film. After seeing this film, I was more than a little disgusted to see so many negative reviews. The main problem with this film, I find, is in the first twenty thirty minutes. A common problem I spy in Lerman films. That should by no means define an entire film. Giving away nothing, the film begins at a brisk and overly flamboyant pace, but after a bit, it hits what I like to call Bass Golden Point, slows to absolute perfection. That first half hour will leave more than a few shaking their heads, but power through it, and you will find the great Gatsby. In all its glory, Lerman stays as true to the source as he can, and DiCaprio gives yet another glorious performance. If I'm going to be honest, I think a lot of the negative reviews coming in are due to the classic status of the book. People want to act like the hours of school discussions should make this film less fanciful and serious. A hundred percent of the time. Thing is, we have that version twice over in the 1974 and 2000 adaptation. Gatsby 2013 is beautiful, over the top, heart-wrenching, and thoroughly enjoyable flick that I shall always highly recommend. Loved it. For the record. I've read Gatsby at least every other year since I was seventeen, so believe me when I say I have been counting down the days and minutes until the new movie opened. Here it goes then. I saw Gatsby last night, and absolutely loved it. In retrospect, as in halfway through the movie, it just clicked. It. Leonardo was perfect. He wasn't Redford, but in my humble opinion, better. He nailed it, portraying Gatsby as this truly multi-dimensional character. At first, we are introduced to Gatsby, the well-rehearsed old sport telling his canned story about studying at Oxford, Montenegro medals, etc., etc. But then slowly, that forced veneer peels away, and he gives us this angst, desperate, so happy in love. We can remake the past, torture sold, much much better than Redford, and the same goes with Daisy, Mia Farrow's Daisy, was all flighty and light as a feather, pretty pathetic, and self-absorbed. You wonder, what's the big deal with these women who everyone loves? But with Carrie Mulligan, you get it. The scenes of the two of them as young lovers explain it all. Finally, Toby McGure, I love him as Peter Parker, Homer Wells, and now Nick Carraway. I thought the idea of having him author Gatsby from a hospital was very clever. Allowed him to read along passages directly from the book. As for J Z at all, I really didn't mind it. As far as I was concerned, it didn't distract and certainly worked to illuminate the frenetic energy of the twenties. Please give it another try. See it again. From my experience, a Baz Luhrmann movie is always better the second time around. Mullen Rock.